Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Mr. Hescox, Life Science 7A. We are closing in on the end of our chapter. Uh, last time, we talked about what is a mutation. A mutation is any change in DNA. Um, today, we're going to talk about selective breeding. The word selective means to choose or to, like, when you pick something out of a vending machine, you have selected it. Uh, and then we'll read a little bit about the zonkey, and you'll have some questions for homework. Genetics has been used to improve living things for thousands and thousands of years. You now I use the picture of this dog. This is a Springer Spaniel. They are bred for hunting. Now your book calls it controlled breeding. The rest of the world will call it selective breeding. You're breeding for a desired trait. You're choosing the traits that you want in plants and animals. How many things can you list that are bred? Dogs, cows, pigs, chickens. Any type of farm, animal, any type of plant that we grow or cultivate has been bred for certain traits. Corn, tomatoes, broccoli, all of those things have been bred to be bigger and better now. This is a picture of what ancient corn looked like versus modern corn. The top part there is like the tassel on top. This is the actual fruit of the corn that we eat. Speaking of corn, corn produces lots and lots of seeds. Plants in general produce lots and lots of seeds. The type of selective breeding with plants is called mass selection. Mass meaning many. So M-A-S-S -S means many in Latin. That's where it comes from. These are racehorses, and one of the most common types of organisms that is inbred or bred with very closely related organisms are uh, flowers that you might want to increase the certain red color or certain colors, or racehorses are inbred because it makes them faster. So you can inbreed flowers to try and amplify the trait, or you can inbreed racehorses. I've seen um, uh, greyhound dogs have also been inbred to make them uh, faster. Hybridization is the crossing of two different species. So inbreeding is two very, very similar, very closely related organisms. Hybridization, they're so far, far apart that they're actually two different species. Um, in this picture here, you'll see a, a beefalo. You see the hump of the, the buffalo, a little bit of its fur coming through, crossed with a cow. Uh, this down here is a liger, a lion, and a tiger. Um, cultivated wheat, um, a mule, is actually a horse and a donkey. Uh, you got this picture out of the Altoona Mirror. This is an unintended one. This is a zonkey. It was when a donkey sired a foal with a zebra. So you have a donkey and a zebra, and you get a zonkey. All right, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you get your reading done. Make sure you get your questions done. This is a fairly short section. Um, if you go into VOAG later on in high school, you'll talk a lot about selective reading. And until then, I'm Mr. Hescox. Be good, be safe. I'll catch you next time.